You know what, I'm excited just to share with you some wonderful things that are happening in spite of all the challenges that we're facing across the world in terms of the lockdown. I'm keeping uh, the distance and the isolation from good old Nathan, but Nathan's been the one who's kept us on air and in connection with you. We want to let you into a peephole. You know when you're looking through the keyhole and you see inside, we want to show you what the house looks like that you belong to and just encourage you what's been accomplished even with all of the challenges that we've faced. So we'll start here at New Life Church by thinking of that chorus, where have all the people gone? Long time passing, because as I look over there at the car park, there's, there's about four cars. This is a busy working week. Come on, have a look inside what's been accomplished. The whole area here on the left has been almost completed. Come on with me. You remember this was the main en entrance in? One or two people busy at work. I'm going to show you this. Come on inside. This of course is the area off from the main auditorium and the coffee shop area. But with looking at this layout of tables and chairs for people to sit, this is the room that didn't exist before. Come and have a look at it. It's all wired up, the best kind of lighting you could have, all finished to a top spec. Already this has been used to do some teaching, but this is a lovely room, it's going to be multi-purpose, the children will be able to use it for Sunday school, for training when the children are not here, and then that gives us a bit more space, as you've seen in the chairs. But I'm going to take you through the corridor, I want to show you the floor that's been done. How clean is this? How encouraging. We've, we've definitely got an A-team. These fire doors didn't exist before. Hallelujah. Come into a new world. This car door here has all been painted up. That's the main entrance in from there. And this is the side emergency entrance. Now, as we come through this, this was none of this existed quite the way you're going to see it now. Here's the new toilet facilities that will encompass uh, two separate toilets, plus especially for those who are physically challenged as well. And then we come into what was, what we used to call no man's land. And we're keeping spatial distance. Uh, I'm not gonna include the A-team at their request, uh, but I'm gonna ask you in a minute to say a few words because he's somewhere in the distance. But look at this place, come on. The lights, the space, the floor, the vision of the future, going out there for the kids to enjoy, and then come over here and just look this way and see what the team have accomplished. That used to be the old food bank area. We never could get inside there. Now it's all opened up. This is a huge difference, as you can see. Ewan, why don't you take them from here on? Yeah, thanks, Alan. Um, this is amazing because it needs a floor putting in, as you can see, to bring it up to the, the level of this floor. And that's quite an expensive job, uh, Jeff has informed me. But this is the thing, we're, we're within distance. Um, and uh, then that room at the back will be the new kitchen with the door that you can see there. Um, so isn't it amazing that we are nearly uh, in sight of getting this thing finished? And I think we just need to really ask God uh, to provide the rest of the finance now. And uh, wouldn't it be amazing if by the end of this calendar year, this whole thing was completed? And just think what a, what a uh, community uh, hub this could be for the community surrounding us here. Uh, from babies through to senior citizens, we could be serving and blessing this community and uh, seeing the kingdom of God come. So let's pray uh, that God will help us and let's also consider uh, what we could do, both in terms of prayer, not just prayer, but also financially contributing in to get this thing completed. It's very, very exciting.